Lesson 1, Airport Transfers Excuse me, can you help me with airport transfers? Of course. We have taxis, buses, and a train. Which one is the quickest? The train is the fastest option. How often do the trains run? They run every 20 minutes. How much does it cost? It's $10 for a one-way ticket. Are there any discounts for children? Yes, children under 5 travel for free. That's great. How long does the train ride take? It takes around 30 minutes. Can I buy the tickets at the station? Yes, you can purchase them at the ticket counter. Is there a station near the city center? Yes, the train station is right downtown. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. Lesson 2 Enjoying the sunset. Let's start around 5 p.m. so we can enjoy the beautiful sunset too. That sounds like a great idea. Where should we go to watch the sunset? How about the beach? It has a perfect view. Do we need to bring anything? We can bring a blanket and some snacks. Should we invite our friends? Yes, the more, the merrier. What time does the sun set? It's around 6.30 p.m. Can we take pictures? Of course. Don't forget to bring your camera. Will it be crowded? It might be, but we'll find a good spot. What if it's cloudy? Even if it's cloudy, we can still enjoy the view. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's going to be a beautiful evening. Lesson 3, Spicy Sauce Yes, I use tomatoes, chili powder, garlic, and other spices for the sauce. That sounds delicious. How long did it take to make the sauce? It took me about 30 minutes. Is it very spicy? It has a kick, but not too overpowering. Can I have the recipe? Sure. I'll write it down for you. What dishes can we use the sauce with? It goes well with pasta, grilled chicken, and even tacos. Did you add any sugar? No, I didn't add sugar, but you can if you prefer it sweeter. Can we store it in the fridge? Yes, it can be stored in an airtight container for up to a week. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The sauce adds a lot of flavor. Lesson 4, Making a Reservation Sounds amazing. Let's book it before someone else does. Good idea. I'll make a reservation right away. How many people should I say the reservation is for? It's for two people. What time should we book? Let's book it for 7 p.m. Can we request a table by the window? Yes, I'll mention that in the reservation. Is there a dress code? It's a casual restaurant, so no formal dress code. How long does the reservation last? Usually, they give us a two-hour time slot. Do we need to give a credit card for the reservation? No, they don't require a credit card. Is there any special dish we should try? Their seafood pasta is highly recommended. I'm looking forward to our dinner. Me too. It's going to be a lovely evening. 
Lesson 5, Impressive Food Quality I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The food quality is really impressive. That's good to hear. I love trying new restaurants. What type of cuisine do they serve? It's a fusion of Mediterranean and Asian flavors. Are the portions generous? Yes, the portions are quite generous. Are there vegetarian options? Yes, they have a separate vegetarian menu. Is there a dress code? It's a smart casual dress code. Do we need to make a reservation? It's recommended to make a reservation, especially on weekends. How's the service? The service is excellent. The staff is very friendly. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll have a fantastic dining experience. Lesson 6, Finding the Perfect Handbag I need a new handbag. Can you help me find one? Of course. I'm sure you'll find one that suits your style and needs. Where should we start looking? Let's check out the mall. They have a variety of stores. Should we go to a specific store? We can try the department store. They have a good selection. What size are you looking for? I prefer a medium-sized handbag. Do you have any color preferences? I like neutral colors like black, brown, or beige. Should we consider the material? Leather or faux leather are popular choices. How about the price range? It depends on your budget. There are options at different price points. Can we try them on? Yes, definitely. It's important to see how they feel and look. Are there any special features you need? I prefer a handbag with multiple compartments for organization. Lesson 7, Increased Energy Levels I've been exercising regularly, and I've noticed increased energy levels. That's great. Exercise can have many benefits. What type of exercise do you recommend? It depends on your preference. You can try jogging, swimming, or cycling. How often should I exercise? It's recommended to exercise at least three times a week. How long should each workout be? Aim for at least 30 minutes per session. Do I need any special equipment? You can start with basic equipment like comfortable shoes and workout clothes. Can I do home workouts? Absolutely. There are many online workout videos and apps available. Should I warm up before exercising? Yes, it's important to warm up to prevent injuries. Can exercise help with stress? Yes, many people find that exercise helps reduce stress levels. I'm excited to continue my fitness journey. That's great. Stay consistent, and you'll continue to see improvements. Lesson 8, Luggage Storage Service My friend is visiting, and she has a lot of luggage. Is there somewhere she can store her luggage? Yes. We have a luggage storage service available. How much does it cost? It's $5 per bag for the day. Is there a weight limit? Each bag should not exceed 50 pounds. Can she access her luggage anytime? Yes, the storage area is accessible during business hours. How secure is the storage facility? We have security cameras and staff monitoring the area. Is there a maximum storage period?
The maximum storage period is one month. Can she store fragile items? It's not recommended to store fragile items. Can she make a reservation? Reservations are not required, but they are recommended during peak seasons. That's convenient. I'll let her know about the service. I'm sure she'll find it helpful. Lesson 9 Exploring the Area Is there a map of the area I can use? Yes, there's a map at the information desk. Can you show me where the nearest park is? Sure, it's just a few blocks down the street. Are there any popular restaurants around here? Yes, there are many restaurants in this area. Which ones do you recommend? I suggest trying the Italian restaurant on the corner. Is it expensive? No, it's reasonably priced and has great food. Are there any museums nearby? Yes, there's a museum two blocks away. Do they have free admission? No, they charge a small entrance fee. Are there any events happening today? Let me check the event calendar for you. I'm excited to explore the area. I'm sure you'll have a great time discovering everything it has to offer. Lesson 10 Free Admission Are there any attractions in the city that have free admission? Yes, there are a few places you can visit without paying. Which attractions are free? The city park, the public library, and the botanical garden are all free. Can we bring a picnic to the city park? Yes, it's a great place to have a picnic. Are there any restrictions? Just make sure to clean up after yourself. What can we do at the public library? You can borrow books, use the computers, or attend events. Are there any special exhibits at the botanical garden? They often have seasonal flower displays and educational exhibits. Can we take photos at these attractions? Yes, photography is usually allowed. I'm glad we have free options to explore. It's a great way to enjoy the city without spending too much. Lesson 11, Navigating Directions How do we get to the park? Go straight ahead, then take a left at the traffic lights. Are there any landmarks along the way? Yes, you'll pass a big red building on your right. How far is it from here? It's about a 10-minute walk from here. Is there a shortcut we can take? Yes, there's a small alley that will lead you straight to the park. Can we take a bus instead? Yes, there's a bus stop just around the corner. Which bus should we take? Take bus number 25, and it will drop you off near the park. Is it a busy route? Yes, it's a popular bus route during peak hours. I'm excited to explore the park. It's a beautiful place with lots to see and do. Lesson 12, Game Nights I couldn't agree more, game nights are truly special bonding moments. Absolutely. They bring friends and family closer together. What games do you enjoy playing? I love playing board games like Scrabble and Monopoly. Those are classic choices. Do you have any other favorites? I also enjoy card games like poker and Uno. Do you have any game night traditions? We usually take turns hosting and provide snacks and drinks. That sounds fun. How often do you have game nights? 
We try to have one at least once a month. Do you play with the same group of people each time? Sometimes, but we also invite new friends to join in. Any tips for hosting a successful game night? Make sure to choose games that everyone can enjoy and create a comfortable and welcoming atmosphere. I can't wait to host my own game night. It's a fantastic way to create lasting memories with your loved ones. Lesson 13 Emotional Regulation At times, it's challenging to regulate my emotions. It takes practice, but you'll become better at it over time. How do you manage your emotions when you're feeling overwhelmed? I take deep breaths and give myself a moment to calm down. Are there any specific techniques you use? Yes, I find meditation and journaling helpful for self-reflection. Do you have any advice for dealing with anger? Taking a break and engaging in physical activity can help release pent-up frustration. What about sadness or stress? Talking to a trusted friend or family member and engaging in activities that bring joy can help alleviate those feelings. How do you stay positive during difficult times? I focus on gratitude and remind myself of the good things in my life. Thank you for the advice. I'll try implementing these strategies. You're welcome. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Lesson 14, Seeking Information I'm looking for some information. Sure, what do you need to know? Do you know where the nearest post office is? Yes, it's just two blocks away from here. Are there any special requirements for sending a package? You'll need to fill out a customs form if you're sending it internationally. Is there a limit on the package size? Yes, the maximum size is 60 inches in combined length and girth. I also need to find a good coffee shop nearby. There's a popular cafe on the corner that serves great coffee. Do they have Wi-Fi available? Yes, they offer free Wi-Fi for customers. Can I charge my phone there? Most likely, they usually have outlets available. Thank you for the information. I appreciate it. You're welcome. If you need any more help, just let me know. Lesson 15, Spaghetti Bolognese All right, do we have pasta and tomato? Yes, we have both. We can make spaghetti bolognese. What other ingredients do we need? We'll need ground beef, onions, garlic, and some herbs. Do we have all of those in the kitchen? Yes, we do. They're all in the pantry and refrigerator. How do we cook the ground beef? Heat some oil in a pan, then cook the beef until it's browned. Should we cook the onions and garlic separately? No, we can sauté them together with the beef. How long does it take for the sauce to simmer? It's best to let it simmer for at least 30 minutesto allow the flavors to blend. Once the sauce is ready, do we mix it with the cooked pasta? Yes, pour the sauce over the cooked pasta and toss it together. Can we garnish it with anything? You can sprinkle some grated Parmesan cheese or fresh basil on top. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's a classic and comforting dish. Lesson 16, Beautiful Weather What a beautiful day! Isn't the weather lovely? Yes, it's perfect. The temperature is just right. I can't help but smile on a day like this. 
Me too. It puts me in a great mood. Let's make the most of this gorgeous weather. Definitely. We should plan some outdoor activities. How about going for a hike or having a picnic in the park? Those sound like wonderful ideas. Let's do it. I'll bring some snacks and drinks for the picnic. That's a great idea. I'll pack a blanket and some games. It's going to be a fantastic day of fun and relaxation. I can't wait. Let's make the most of this beautiful weather. Lesson 17 Signing the Warranty. The warranty on this product is excellent. Yes, it provides great coverage for a long time. Let's proceed with signing the warranty. Good idea. We shouldn't miss out on the benefits. Do we need to fill out any forms? Yes, we'll need to provide our contact information. Is there any additional documentation required? No, just our names, address, and purchase details. How long does it take for the warranty to be activated? It usually takes a few days for the registration to process. I'm glad we're taking this step to protect our purchase. Me too. It gives us peace of mind for any unforeseen issues. Now we can enjoy our new product without worries. Absolutely. It's always good to have a warranty in place. Lesson 18, Sunscreen and Hydration. The sun is really strong today. Yes, it's important to protect our skin. I don't want to get sunburned. Definitely. We should apply sunscreen before going out. What SPF should we use? It's best to use a broad-spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher. Should we reapply it throughout the day? Yes, especially if we're sweating or swimming. We should also stay hydrated. Absolutely. Let's make sure to drink plenty of water. I'll bring a water bottle with me. That's a good idea. We need to keep ourselves hydrated. We're all set to enjoy the sun safely and stay protected. That's right. Let's have a great day while taking care of ourselves. Lesson 19, Holding Officials Accountable It's disheartening to see the lack of accountability. Indeed, we need stronger measures to hold officials accountable. What can we do to make a difference? We can raise awareness and support organizations that fight for transparency. It's important to voice our concerns and demand change. Absolutely. We can write letters and participate in peaceful protests. We should also educate ourselves on the issues at hand. Yes, understanding the problems helps us make informed decisions. Together, we can create a better future. That's right. Our collective actions can bring about positive change. Let's stand up for what's right and work towards a more accountable system. I couldn't agree more. It's essential for a just society. Lesson 20, Travel Insurance. Travel insurance provides peace of mind. Yes, it covers medical expenses, trip cancellations, and lost luggage. Do you think we should get travel insurance for our trip? It's a good idea, especially for international travel. What does travel insurance typically include? It usually includes emergency medical coverage and trip protection. Does it cover pre-existing medical conditions? Some policies do, but it's important to check the terms and conditions. How much does travel insurance cost? 
The cost depends on factors like trip duration and coverage limits. Is it worth the investment? It can be, especially if you're traveling to a remote or high-risk area. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. I agree. Travel insurance provides valuable protection during trips. Let's research and find the right travel insurance for our needs. That sounds like a plan. We'll have peace of mind during our trip. Lesson 21, Exercise for Stress Relief Exercise is so important for relieving stress. I couldn't agree more. It helps clear my mind. What type of exercise do you enjoy? I like going for a run or doing yoga. I prefer lifting weights at the gym. Whatever gets you moving and releases tension. It's amazing how exercise can improve our mood. Definitely. It's a natural stress reliever. We should make time for exercise every day. Even a short walk can make a difference. Let's prioritize our well-being and reduce stress. I'm all for it. Exercise is a great self-care practice. I feel so much better after a good workout. Me too. It's important to take care of ourselves. Lesson 22, Weekend Plans what are your weekend plans? I'm going to visit my grandparents. That sounds nice. How far do they live? They live in the countryside, about two hours away. Do you visit them often? I try to visit them at least once a month. It's important to spend time with family. Yes, I cherish the moments with my grandparents. What do you usually do when you visit them? We go for walks, cook together, and share stories. It sounds like a lovely way to spend the weekend. It really is. I always look forward to those visits. Enjoy your time with your grandparents. Thank you. I will make the most of it. Lesson 23, Wi-Fi at the airport. Excuse me, is there Wi-Fi at the airport? Yes, we have free Wi-Fi here. Just connect. That's great. I need to send an important email. You'll have no problem accessing the internet. Is there a password I need to enter? No, it's an open network. Just accept the terms and conditions. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. I appreciate your help. Thanks again. No problem. Enjoy your time at the airport. Lesson 24, Time for Hobbies or Reading I like the idea of walks. What's next? We should also set aside time for hobbies or reading. That sounds like a great way to relax and unwind. Hobbies help us pursue our passions and interests. I enjoy playing the guitar in my free time. That's wonderful. Music can be so therapeutic. What are some hobbies you enjoy? I love painting and gardening. It's quite therapeutic. Reading is another hobby I enjoy. It's so immersive. Reading is a great way to escape and learn. Let's make sure we make time for our hobbies. Absolutely. It's important to do what brings us joy. Lesson 25, Learning from Setbacks Don't worry, failure is a part of success. You're right. We can learn from setbacks. 
It's important to see failure as an opportunity to grow. I agree. It helps us develop resilience and new strategies. What's an example of a setback you've learned from? When I didn't get the job I wanted, I used it as motivation to improve my skills. That's a great mindset. How did it work out? It pushed me to pursue additional training, and eventually, I got a better opportunity. That's inspiring. Failure can lead to great things. Absolutely. It's all about how we respond to setbacks. Let's embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. I'm with you. Failure is just a detour on the road to success. Lesson 26, Art Appreciation Art makes me feel alive and helps me appreciate beauty. I agree. It's a wonderful way to express emotions. I love visiting art museums and galleries. It's inspiring to see different styles and interpretations. Do you have a favorite type of art? I enjoy abstract paintings and sculptures. I'm more drawn to realistic landscapes. That's the beauty of art, there's something for everyone. Absolutely. It's a universal language. Art can evoke emotions and spark creativity. It's a form of expression that transcends words. I'm grateful for the artists who share their vision with us. Art has a way of bringing people together. It's a powerful force that connects us all. Let's continue to explore and appreciate art. Agreed. It enriches our lives in so many ways. Lesson 27, Integrating into Strategy I agree we should integrate it into our strategy. It's important to adapt and stay ahead. How can we effectively integrate it? We can start by analyzing our current processes. Then identify areas where integration can bring value. We should also consider the potential challenges. Planning and communication will be key. We need to ensure everyone is on board. Collaboration will be crucial for success. Absolutely. We should leverage each other's strengths. Let's create a roadmap and set realistic goals. And regularly evaluate our progress. It's a continuous process of improvement. I'm confident we can successfully integrate it. Together, we can achieve great things. Lesson 28, Let's Go Hikings Let's go this weekend. Agreed. How about Saturday morning? That works for me. What should we do? Let's go hiking in the nearby mountains. That sounds like a fun and active plan. We can enjoy nature and get some exercise. I'll bring snacks and water for the hike. Great idea. We can have a picnic along the way. I'm excited for the adventure. Can't wait. It's going to be a memorable weekend. Let's make the most of it and have a great time. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Lesson 29, Supermarket Adventure Absolutely. It's always an adventure at the supermarket. So many options and things to explore. Do you have a strategy for grocery shopping? I usually make a list to stay organized. That's a smart approach. I tend to wander around. It can be fun to discover new products. True, but sometimes I end up buying unnecessary things. Planning meals in advance helps avoid that. 
I'll try that. Any other supermarket tips? Compare prices and check out the sales. Good advice. Saving money is always a plus. And don't forget to bring your reusable bags. Right, let's be mindful of the environment too. Supermarket trips can be productive and eco friendly. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tips. Lesson 30 Energizing Activities. Yes, I find it energizing. What about you? Different activities give me different types of energy. What activities specifically energize you? I feel energized after a good workout or a dance class. Physical activities can really boost your energy levels. Absolutely. How about you? I find spending time in nature rejuvenating. Being outdoors can be so refreshing. I also enjoy engaging in creative projects. Artistic activities can be invigorating too. It's important to find activities that energize us. Yes, doing what we love can revitalize us. Let's make time for energizing activities in our lives. Agreed. It's essential for our well-being. Lesson 31, Salary Considerations Have you thought about your desired salary? Yes, I have. What about you? I want to be comfortable. What about you? I want to ensure I'm fairly compensated. That's good to hear. It's important to know your worth. Absolutely. We should value our skills and experience. Do you have a salary range in mind? Yes, I've done some research to set realistic expectations. That's a smart approach. Research is key. We should also consider the industry standards. It's essential to be informed and negotiate effectively. Agreed. Let's be confident in discussing our salaries. We deserve to be fairly compensated for our work. Cheers to that. Let's aim high and negotiate well. Lesson 32, Following a Schedule Is there a schedule we need to follow? Yes, they provide a schedule at the beginning. That's helpful. It keeps things organized. It ensures everyone is on the same page. Is the schedule flexible or strict? It's a mix of both. Some tasks have specific deadlines. That makes sense. Structure is important. But there's also room for adjustments and flexibility. It's good to have some flexibility in a schedule. Yes, it allows for unexpected changes and adaptability. Let's make sure we follow the schedule effectively. Absolutely. It keeps us focused and productive. With a schedule, we can stay on track and meet our goals. Agreed. Let's make the most of it and stay organized. Lesson 33, Happy Cooking Cheers to that. Happy cooking, my friend. Thank you. Cooking brings me joy. What's your favorite dish to cook? I love making pasta dishes. Pasta is delicious. Do you have a special recipe? I like to make a simple tomato sauce with fresh herbs. That sounds delightful. I'll have to try it. What about you? Do you enjoy cooking? I do. I like experimenting with different flavors. It's fun to try new recipes and techniques. 
Absolutely. Cooking is a creative and rewarding process. I agree. It's satisfying to prepare a delicious meal. Let's continue to explore and enjoy cooking. Cheers to that. Happy cooking and good food. Lesson 34, Exercise Routine What kind of exercise do you do? I mainly do a combination of cardio and strength training. That's a well-rounded approach. How often do you exercise? I aim for at least three to four times a week. Consistency is key for seeing results. Yes, it's important to stay committed. Do you have any favorite exercises? I enjoy jogging and doing bodyweight exercises. Running is great for cardiovascular health. And bodyweight exercises help build strength. It's good to have a balanced exercise routine. Absolutely. It keeps me energized and healthy. Let's keep up with our exercise routines. Agreed. Cheers to staying active and fit. Lesson 35, Market Trends Have you reviewed the market trends? Yes, I've looked into it. Some sectors are experiencing a downward trend. It's important to stay informed about industry changes. Absolutely. It helps us make informed decisions. How can we adapt to the downward trend? We should identify opportunities in other growing sectors. Flexibility and adaptability are crucial. Yes, let's explore new possibilities and stay proactive. It's essential to keep learning and evolving. Agreed. We can turn challenges into opportunities. Let's stay ahead of the market trends. Cheers to that. It's all about staying informed and adaptable. Lesson 36, share updates on our progress. How's your project coming along? It's going well. I've made good progress. That's great to hear. I've been making strides too. It feels good to see our hard work paying off. Absolutely. We're moving in the right direction. I can't wait to see the final result. Me too. Let's keep up the momentum. Agreed. We're making steady progress. We should celebrate our achievements so far. Definitely. It's important to acknowledge our progress. Let's stay focused and keep pushing forward. Cheers to that. We're on the path to success. Lesson 37, Latest Technology Trends I found something interesting earlier. Really? What did you find? It's an article about the latest technology trends. That sounds intriguing. I'd love to read it. I'll send it to you later. It's quite informative. Thanks, I look forward to reading it. Absolutely, it's always good to stay updated. I appreciate you sharing valuable information. No problem. We can learn a lot from each other. That's true. We should always be curious. Let's continue to share interesting findings. Cheers to that. There's so much to discover. Lesson 38, Tomato Sauce Toppings I made a delicious pizza yesterday. That sounds amazing. What toppings did you use? I went for a classic margarita with fresh basil. Margarita is always a good choice. What about you? 
What toppings do you recommend? I like adding mushrooms and onions to my pizza. That sounds tasty. I'll try that next time. You won't be disappointed. It adds great flavor. I can't wait to experiment with different toppings. Pizza is versatile. You can get creative with it. Let's continue to enjoy our pizza adventures. Agreed. Cheers to delicious pizza. Lesson 39. Can I see the menu, please? Excuse me, can I see the menu, please? Of course, here you go. Thank you. I'm eager to try something new. Take your time. There are many options to choose from. Everything looks delicious. It's hard to decide. I can recommend some popular dishes if you'd like. That would be great. I appreciate your help. The pasta dishes are excellent, and the seafood is fresh. I'll consider those. Thanks for your suggestions. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal. I will. Bon appetit. Lesson 40, Currency Exchange We can exchange most major currencies here. That's convenient. Which currency are you looking to exchange? I need to exchange some US dollars to euros. No problem. The exchange rate is quite favorable. That's good to hear. I want to get the best value. We aim to provide competitive rates for our customers. I appreciate that. It makes a difference. We're here to assist you with your currency needs. Thank you for your help. It's much appreciated. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any other questions. Will do. Thank you again. My pleasure. Have a great day. Lesson 41, Beaches and Volcanoes Relaxing on the beach sounds nice. Absolutely. I love the sound of the waves. Have you ever explored a volcano? No, I haven't. But it would be exciting to see one up close. We should plan a trip to a volcanic island. That's a great idea. We can relax on the beaches and explore volcanoes. I've also heard they have amazing hiking trails. Oh, I love hiking. Count me in. It will be an adventure we won't forget. I can't wait to experience the beauty of nature. Let's start researching the best volcanic destinations. Definitely. I'm excited to learn more about them. We'll have an unforgettable time exploring beaches and volcanoes. I agree. It'll be an amazing journey of relaxation and discovery. Lesson 42 Affordable Accommodations I've been looking for affordable accommodations nearby. Good idea. We can save money on accommodations and spend it on other things. Exactly. We can have more experiences within our budget. I'll search for budget-friendly hotels and goose houses. Maybe we can also consider staying in hostels or vacation rentals. That's a great suggestion. It would be a unique experience. We can explore different options and choose the best one. I'll make a list of affordable places and their amenities. Perfect. We'll find a comfortable and cost-effective place to stay. It's all about making the most of our travel budget. Let's find affordable accommodations and have an amazing trip. Lesson 43, Meeting New People 
Hi, are you worried about meeting new people? Yes, it makes me nervous. Don't worry, it's normal to feel that way. How about you? Are you nervous too? I used to be, but I learned some tips to overcome it. Can you share some tips with me? Sure. One tip is to start with small talk and ask open ended questions. That sounds helpful. What else can I do? Try to find common interests and build a connection. That makes sense. Any other advice? Remember to be yourself and be confident. Thank you, John. I'll keep those tips in mind. You're welcome. Just take it one conversation at a time. I'll do my best. Let's support each other in meeting new people. Absolutely. We can overcome our nervousness together. Lesson 44 Accountability. Let's hold each other accountable. Let's do this. I agree. It's easier to achieve goals with support. We can set specific targets and check in regularly. That sounds like a plan. What goals should we focus on? How about fitness goals? We can motivate each other to exercise. That's a great idea. Let's aim for a certain number of workouts per week. We can also set goals for personal development or learning. Learning a new language or a skill would be fantastic. Let's write down our goals and make a schedule. I'm excited to work towards our goals and see progress. Together, we can achieve anything we set our minds to. I believe in us. Let's hold each other accountable and succeed. Lesson 45 Landscapes or Portraits. I mostly paint landscapes, but I've also tried my hand at portraits. That's interesting. What do you enjoy about painting landscapes? I love capturing the beauty of nature and the different colors. Landscapes can be so peaceful and inspiring. Yes, they evoke a sense of calm and tranquility. What about portraits? What do you find challenging about them? Portraits can be challenging because capturing likeness is essential. I can imagine. People have unique features that require attention to detail. Indeed. But the challenge is also what makes it exciting. I admire artists who can create lifelike portraits. Practice and observation are key to improving portrait skills. I might give it a try sometime. Mixing landscapes and portraits could be fun. Absolutely. Experimenting with different subjects keeps art interesting. Let's continue expressing our creativity through painting. Agreed. Whether it's landscapes or portraits, painting is a wonderful form of self expression. Lesson 46 Trip Insurance. I found some insurance providers for our trip. Perfect. I can't wait to embark on this. They offer different coverage options. That's great. We need to make sure we're protected. The prices vary, but it's worth it for peace of mind. I agree. Safety should be a priority. I'll compare the plans and choose the best one. Sounds good. Let's make sure it covers everything we need. Definitely. We don't want any surprises during our trip. I'm glad we're taking this step. It's responsible. Absolutely. It's better to be prepared. I feel more confident knowing we have insurance. Me too. It's always better to be safe than sorry. 
I'm grateful we have this option available to us. Insurance is a valuable investment for our trip. I couldn't agree more. It's worth every penny. I'm glad you think so too. It's a smart decision. I appreciate your research. It makes planning easier. Lesson 47, Affordable Purchase I bought this for around $50. Not too bad. I guess it's a good deal. Yes, it's reasonably priced for its quality. That's great. I love finding good bargains. Me too. It's satisfying to save some money. Definitely. It's a win-win situation. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm glad you found something you like. Thanks. It's always nice to treat ourselves. Absolutely. We deserve a little something special. I couldn't agree more. It's important to reward ourselves. It's a small indulgence that brings joy. Exactly. It's the little things that matter. I'm happy for you. Enjoy your new item. Thank you. I will cherish it. Lesson 48, Lunchtime It's lunchtime. Let's grab something to eat. Sounds good. I'm hungry and ready for a break. Any preferences for the type of cuisine? I'm open to anything. Surprise me. How about trying that new sandwich place? That sounds delicious. I'm up for it. Great. I've heard their sandwiches are amazing. I can't wait to try them. It's an adventure for our taste buds. I'm looking forward to a satisfying meal. Me too. Food always tastes better when shared with good company. I couldn't agree more. Let's go and enjoy our lunch. Absolutely. Let's make it a memorable lunch break. Lesson 49, New Neighbor so, are you new here? Yes, I just moved in yesterday. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm John. Thank you, John. I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Likewise, Anna. How are you finding the area so far? It's lovely. I'm still exploring, but I like what I've seen. That's great to hear. If you need any recommendations, feel free to ask. I appreciate that. It's always helpful to have insider tips. Definitely. Community support is important, especially for newcomers. I couldn't agree more. It's comforting to know friendly faces. Well, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, John. I'm grateful for the warm welcome. Lesson 50, Learning Process Definitely. It's all part of the learning process, right? Absolutely. We live and learn. We make mistakes, but that's how we grow. I couldn't agree more. Experience teaches us valuable lessons. It's important to embrace challenges and learn from them. Yes, every obstacle is an opportunity to improve. We shouldn't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes. Failure is a stepping stone to success. That's the spirit. Let's keep pushing ourselves to learn and grow. I'm with you, John. We'll become better each day. Exactly. Learning is a lifelong journey. And we're on the right path. 
Lesson 51, Sales Reports and Brainstorming. Perfect. I'll bring the sales reports. Additionally, we need to brainstorm ideas. Absolutely. We should come up with fresh strategies. That's the key to staying ahead of the competition. I agree. Let's think outside the box. We can explore new marketing channels. And target specific customer segments. That's a great idea. Personalization is key. It helps build stronger connections with customers. We should also analyze market trends. Yes, staying updated is crucial. That way, we can adapt our approach. We need to be agile in a fast-paced industry. I'm excited about this brainstorming session. Me too. Let's harness our creative energy. Together, we'll come up with innovative solutions. I'm confident we'll make a positive impact. Let's dive in and make it happen. Lesson 52. Enhancing ambience with decorations and music. Yes, decorations and background music can enhance the ambience. Absolutely, they create a welcoming atmosphere. We can use soft lighting to set the mood. And add some colorful decorations to liven up the space. That's a great idea. It will create a visually appealing environment. We should also consider the music genre. Right, it should match the theme or vibe we want to create. Slow instrumental music can create a relaxing ambience. But for a lively gathering, upbeat music works well. Exactly, it sets the tone for the event. We can also personalize the decorations based on the occasion. That adds a personal touch and makes it memorable. It's amazing how simple elements can transform a space. Indeed, attention to details can make a big difference. Let's get creative and make the ambience extraordinary. I'm excited to create an inviting atmosphere. Lesson 53, Adjusting the Thermostat Could you please guide us on how to adjust it? Certainly, locate the thermostat on the wall. I found it. What's the next step? Check if it's set to the desired temperature. It's a bit too warm. How can I lower it? Look for the dash or down arrow button. Found it. I'll press it to decrease the temperature. Great. Now monitor if it's adjusting accordingly. It's gradually getting cooler. That's perfect. If it gets too cold, you can always raise the temperature. How do I increase it if needed? Use the plus or up arrow button to raise the temperature. Understood. Thanks for the guidance. You're welcome. Adjusting the thermostat is simple once you know how. I appreciate your help. Now I can maintain a comfortable temperature. Lesson 54. Learn how to play the guitar. That's awesome. I've been thinking of trying something new too. Really? What are you interested in exploring? I want to learn how to play the guitar. That's a fantastic idea. Music is a wonderful hobby. I've always been drawn to the sound of guitars. It's a great instrument to express yourself. I'm excited to start this new journey. You'll enjoy the process of learning and mastering it. I can't wait to strum my first chord. Practice regularly, and you'll make progress. Thanks for the encouragement.
It means a lot. You're welcome. Enjoy your guitar playing adventure. I will. And I'm curious, what new thing do you want to try? I've been thinking about taking up photography. That sounds fascinating. You'll capture beautiful moments. I hope so. It's a creative outlet I want to explore. I wish you all the best on your photography journey. Thank you, John. Let's encourage each other in our new endeavors. Lesson 55 The Satisfying Drive of Plants. That's fantastic. There's something so satisfying about seeing plants thrive. I couldn't agree more. It's rewarding to nurture them. Watching them grow and bloom brings joy. It's a reminder of the beauty of nature. Definitely. Plants have a calming effect too. Taking care of them can be therapeutic. It's a wonderful way to connect with nature. Indoor plants can also improve the air quality. That's an added benefit. They create a healthier environment. Plus, they add a touch of greenery to any space. I love how they liven up the room. They truly bring life and vibrancy to our surroundings. Indeed, it's amazing how such small beings can have such a big impact. It's a beautiful reminder of the cycle of life and growth. I find it fascinating to observe their different shapes and textures. Each plant has its own unique characteristics and needs. That's what makes gardening so interesting and fulfilling. Absolutely. It's a continuous learning experience. Lesson 56 Fundraising Success The charity event was a huge success. That's great. How much money did we raise? We raised over $10,000 for the cause. Wow, that's impressive. How did you manage to raise so much? We organized a silent auction and had many generous donors. That's wonderful. Were you also passionate about the cause? Yes, I believe in making a difference in people's lives. That's inspiring. Did you have any difficulties during the event? There were a few challenges, but we worked through them. I'm glad you overcame them. It sounds like a rewarding experience. It definitely was. We made a positive impact in our community. That's amazing. I admire your dedication and hard work. Thank you, Anna. It was a team effort, and everyone contributed. That's great to hear. I hope we can continue making a difference. Absolutely. Together, we can accomplish great things. Lesson 57, Net Emissions I was impressed by the commitment shown by some countries to reach net zero emissions. Yes, it's crucial for addressing climate change. Definitely. It's important for us to reduce our carbon footprint. I agree. Every small step counts towards a more sustainable future. Absolutely. We need to prioritize renewable energy sources. That's right. We should also promote energy-efficient practices. Agreed. It's essential to raise awareness and take action. I hope more countries join the effort to combat climate change. Me too. Together, we can make a significant impact. Let's do our part and encourage others to do the same. Absolutely. Our planet's future depends on it. Lesson 58, Accommodation Preferences I'm looking for a place to stay during my trip. 
Have you considered staying at a hotel? Yes, a double room would be perfect for me. Great choice. Do you have any specific requirements for the room? I prefer a room with a view and a private bathroom. Noted. I'll make sure to find a suitable option for you. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. I'll search for hotels that meet your preferences. That would be fantastic. I'm excited about my upcoming trip. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sure you'll have a comfortable stay. Thanks again for your help, Anna. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Enjoy your trip and have a great stay. Lesson 59 Fun Ways to Exercise. I've been trying to find ways to get my heart rate up. Have you considered running? It's a great way to exercise. I've always found running boring. Is there any other option? How about trying a dance class? It's fun and gets your heart pumping. That sounds more exciting. I'll give it a try. You could also try cycling or swimming. They're both great exercises. Those sound like good alternatives. I'll see which one I enjoy the most. That's the spirit. The key is finding something you enjoy. I agree. It'll be easier to stick to a routine if it's enjoyable. Absolutely. Remember to start slowly and gradually increase your intensity. Will do. Thanks for the suggestions, Anna. I'm motivated to get active. You're welcome, John. Have fun and stay healthy. Lesson 60 Hotel Services. I'm interested in booking a room at your hotel. What services do you offer? Of course, we offer laundry service for our guests. That's convenient. Is there an additional cost for the service? Yes, there's a small fee for laundry service. That's reasonable. Do you have any other amenities available? We have a fitness center, a restaurant, and a concierge service. Excellent. Is there a shuttle service to nearby attractions? Yes, we provide a complimentary shuttle service for our guests. That's great to know. How about room service? Yes, we offer room service 24 hours a day. Perfect. I like having the option to dine in my room. We aim to provide a comfortable and convenient stay for our guests. That's fantastic. I look forward to staying at your hotel. We're delighted to have you as our guest. Let me assist you with the booking. Lesson 61, Daily Routine I wake up at 6 a.m. That's early. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. After waking up, I brush my teeth. That's a good routine. I do the same. Then I take a shower to freshen up. Showers are a great way to start the day. After that, I have breakfast. Breakfast is important for energy. I usually have cereal and orange juice. I prefer toast and coffee in the morning. Then I get dressed and ready for the day. It's important to look presentable. Finally, I leave for work or school. Have a productive day. Lesson 62, Preparation Tips One tip is to practice beforehand. That's a great suggestion. Practice makes perfect. Anticipate potential difficult questions. 
Being prepared helps reduce stress. I find it helpful to write notes or make flashcards. Visual aids can improve memory. Take breaks during your practice sessions. Resting is important for retaining information. Stay confident and believe in yourself. Confidence is key during presentations. And don't forget to breathe and speak slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. Lesson 63, Renting a Car That sounds like a good idea. Renting a car can give you more flexibility. It's convenient for traveling long distances. And you can explore different places easily. Plus, you can set your own schedule. No need to rely on public transportation. It's important to check the rental terms and conditions. Reading the fine print is crucial. And make sure to have a valid driver's license. Safety first when driving. Lastly, return the car on time to avoid extra charges. Responsible car rental is necessary. Lesson 64, Surviving a Power Outage Hi, do you have any tips for surviving a power outage? Yes, I do. First, have a flashlight and extra batteries. That's important for when it gets dark. Stock up on non-perishable food and water. Being prepared for emergencies is crucial. Also, have a battery-powered radio for updates. Staying informed is essential during outages. Keep a first aid kit handy. Safety should always be a priority. And have blankets or warm clothing for cold weather. That will help stay warm without electricity. Lastly, be patient and wait for the power to come back. Patience is definitely key in such situations. Lesson 65, Compromising on Time I prefer mornings. How about we compromise and go at 7 a.m.? Hmm, that's a bit early for me. It's a good time to start the day and avoid crowds. All right, let's compromise. 7 a.m. it is. Great. We'll have more time to do other things later. It's important to find a balance that works for both of us. Definitely. Compromise is the key to a successful partnership. I'm glad we could find a solution together. Lesson 66, Reviews and Decisions That's true. Did you check the reviews before deciding? Yes, I always read reviews before making a choice. Reviews can be helpful in making informed decisions. They provide valuable insights from other people's experiences. It's important to consider both positive and negative reviews. Definitely, it gives a balanced perspective on the product or service. Sometimes, reviews can be subjective, so it's good to read multiple opinions. I agree. It helps to get a broader understanding before deciding. So, have you found any helpful reviews recently? Yes, I found some detailed reviews that influenced my decision. That's great. It's always good to do some research before making a choice. Absolutely, it saves you from potential regrets later on. I'll make sure to check the reviews next time before deciding. That's a good idea. It can save you time and money in the long run. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Lesson 67, Basic Phrases for Travel 
European countries have so many different languages. Yes, it can be challenging to communicate in a foreign language. Learning some basic phrases can be really helpful. Absolutely. It shows respect for the local culture and makes traveling easier. I'll start studying some key phrases before my trip. That's a great idea. It will enhance your travel experience. Do you have any recommendations on which phrases to learn first? Greetings, asking for directions, and ordering food are essential. I'll focus on those. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip and have fun practicing the phrases. Lesson 68 Hard Work Pays Off. Definitely, it's like all the hard work pays off in the end. Yes, it's rewarding to see the results of our efforts. It can be challenging along the way, but the outcome is worth it. Absolutely. Persistence and dedication lead to success. How about you? Have you experienced the benefits of hard work? Yes, I have. Achieving my goals gives me a sense of fulfillment. That's wonderful. It motivates me to keep pushing forward. Remember, every step you take brings you closer to your dreams. Thank you for the encouragement. I needed that. You're welcome. Keep going, and you'll reach your goals. Lesson 69 Working in the Sustainability Field I'm interested in renewable energy projects and would love to work in the sustainability field. That's a great career choice. It's an important and growing industry. I believe it's crucial to protect the environment and promote sustainable practices. Absolutely. Working in sustainability allows you to make a positive impact. Do you have any advice on how to get started in this field? Education and relevant experience are key. Consider getting a degree in a related field. I'll look into that. Are there any specific skills I should develop? Knowledge of environmental policies, renewable energy technologies, and project management would be beneficial. Thank you for the guidance. I'm excited to pursue a career in sustainability. You're welcome. Best of luck on your journey. Make a difference. Lesson 70 The Joy of Reading. You well, I'm an avid reader. I love getting lost in fictional worlds. That's wonderful. Reading is a great way to relax and expand your imagination. It's like going on an adventure without leaving my chair. I feel the same way. Books can transport us to different times and places. What genre do you enjoy the most? I'm a fan of mystery and fantasy novels. How about you? I like science fiction and historical fiction. It's fascinating how books can take us to places we've never been. Absolutely. They allow us to experience different perspectives and emotions. Reading also improves vocabulary and language skills. That's another benefit. I'm glad I developed a love for reading. It's a lifelong passion that brings joy and knowledge. Couldn't agree more. Happy reading! Lesson 71, Travel Essentials I'll add the travel adapter to the top of the list. Perfect, we're one step closer to a worry-free trip. We should also pack a universal charger. Great idea. It'll come in handy for all our devices. Don't forget to bring a portable phone charger too. Absolutely, we don't want to run out of battery while exploring. 
A sturdy suitcase with wheels is essential. Agreed, it'll make navigating airports much easier. We should also pack a first aid kit, just in case. Safety first. It's always good to be prepared. And don't forget to bring a comfortable neck pillow for the flight. Definitely, it'll help us get some rest during the journey. We're almost ready for our trip. Just a few more things to consider. With these essentials, we'll be well prepared for any adventure. Lesson 72 Finding Affordable Accommodation It can be pricey, but worth it for the great location. True, but let's explore some more affordable options too. How about looking for hostels or budget hotels? That's a good idea. They can offer reasonable rates. We could also consider renting a vacation home or apartment. Yes, it might be more cost-effective, especially for longer stays. Another option is to book through online travel websites for discounts. Agreed, they often have special deals and promotions. It's also worth checking for last-minute offers. Definitely, you can find some great bargains that way. Let's be flexible with our travel dates to get the best rates. Good point. Off-peak seasons can be more affordable. We'll find the perfect accommodation within our budget. Yes, with a little research, we'll have a great place to stay. Lesson 73, Grocery Shopping just picked up some eggs. Anything you want me to grab for you? Can you get some milk and bread, please? Sure, any preferences for the type of bread? Whole wheat bread, please. It's healthier. Noted. Do we need any fruits or vegetables? How about some bananas and lettuce? Sounds good. Anything else on the list? We're running low on pasta and tomato sauce. I'll make sure to get those too. Anything else? Maybe some yogurt and cereal for breakfast. Consider it done. I'll be back shortly with everything. Thank you. I appreciate your help with the groceries. No problem. It's always good to have a well-stocked kitchen. Lesson 74, Planning Meeting Good morning. I'm glad you brought it up. Let's dive into the details. Definitely. We need to organize everything efficiently. First, we should set a clear goal for this project. Agreed. It will help us stay focused and motivated. Then, let's create a timeline with specific milestones. That way, we can track our progress and adjust if needed. We should also assign tasks and responsibilities to each team member. That ensures everyone knows what to do and when. Communication will be crucial. We need to keep everyone informed. Yes, regular updates and meetings will keep us on the same page. We should also anticipate potential challenges and come up with solutions. That way, we'll be prepared to tackle any obstacles that arise. Lastly, we need to celebrate our achievements along the way. Absolutely. It's important to recognize and reward hard work. Lesson 75, Importance of Saving Good idea. How long have you been saving? I started a few years ago, and it has made a big difference. Saving consistently over time can lead to significant results. Yes, even small amounts add up over the long run. It's important to have financial goals and a budget. That way, we can prioritize our spending and save more. 
Saving allows us to be prepared for unexpected expenses. It also gives us the freedom to pursue our dreams and goals. Absolutely. It provides a sense of security and peace of mind. Saving can also help us achieve financial independence. It's a valuable habit to develop early in life. I'm glad I started saving when I did. It has opened up opportunities. It's never too late to start. Every little bit counts. That's true. Let's encourage others to save and secure their future. Definitely. Financial stability is essential for a fulfilling life. Lesson 76, Conan Adventure Have you heard about Conan? It's just outside the park entrance. Oh, I've been wanting to go there. What's special about it? They have the most delicious ice cream cones you've ever tasted. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm definitely up for trying it. Let's plan a day trip and indulge in some sweet treats. Count me in. I can already imagine the mouth-watering flavors. It'll be a fun adventure exploring the park and enjoying ice cream. I can't wait. It's going to be a perfect day out. We'll make memories and satisfy our sweet tooth at the same time. Exactly. I'm already looking forward to our cone and adventure. Lesson 77, Shop Till We Drop I hope we find good deals during the sale. Me too. I love getting discounts while shopping. Let's explore different stores and see what they have to offer. Great idea. We can find some hidden gems. I'm on the lookout for a new pair of shoes. What about you? I need a new dress for an upcoming event. We'll search high and low until we find the perfect items. I can't wait to update my wardrobe with some trendy pieces. It's always exciting to shop till we drop. Absolutely. Let's make the most of this shopping spree. Lesson 78, Project Deadlines Is there any update on the project deadlines? We need to finalize them by next week. We should review our progress and adjust the timeline if necessary. Agreed. Let's make sure we're on track to meet the targets. We might need to allocate more resources to certain tasks. That's a good point. We should assess the workload and make adjustments. Communication with the team is crucial to keep everyone informed. Absolutely. We need everyone's commitment to meet the deadlines. With proper planning and coordination, will successfully complete the project. Let's work together and ensure a smooth and timely delivery. Lesson 79, Negotiation Skills Yes, I've done my research and I know my limits. That's great. Confidence is key during negotiations. I've outlined my objectives and the points I want to emphasize. Good job. Being prepared will give you an advantage. I'll also listen carefully to the other party's perspective. Active listening is important to understand their needs and concerns. I'll use persuasive language and present compelling arguments. That's a smart approach. It'll help you make your case effectively. Negotiation is all about finding a win-win solution. Absolutely. Collaboration and compromise can lead to great outcomes. I'm ready to negotiate and achieve the best possible results. You've got this. Put your negotiation skills to work. Lesson 80, Fitness Enthusiast I like to challenge myself with new exercises. 
That's a great mindset. It keeps your workouts interesting. I recently tried a group fitness class, and it was fantastic. Group classes can be motivating and help you push your limits. I enjoy the energy and camaraderie in a group setting. It's inspiring to see others working hard and achieving their goals. Trying different workout routines keeps me motivated. Variety is the spice of life, even when it comes to fitness. I'm always up for new challenges and pushing my boundaries. Keep up the great work. Your dedication is admirable. Lesson 81, Catching Up on News Hi there. Have you been following the news lately? Yes, I try to stay updated. It's important to know what's happening. Absolutely. There have been some interesting developments. What caught your attention the most? I found the article about environmental initiatives quite inspiring. That's great. It's good to see efforts being made to protect the planet. Definitely. We all need to contribute to a sustainable future. I agree. Every small step counts towards making a big difference. It's important to be well informed and engage in meaningful discussions. Absolutely. Let's continue to stay informed and share knowledge. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to current affairs. I couldn't agree more. Let's keep up with the news and learn together. Lesson 82, Commitment to Delivery We can commit to delivering within six weeks from the contract signing. That sounds reasonable. It's important to set realistic expectations. Absolutely. It's crucial to ensure that we can meet the agreed deadline. We should plan our resources and allocate them efficiently. Agreed. Proper resource management is key to timely delivery. Communication with the client is essential throughout the process. True. Regular updates and transparency build trust and confidence. We should also have contingency plans in case of unexpected challenges. Good point. Being prepared for contingencies minimizes disruptions. Let's work together to ensure a smooth and successful delivery. Definitely. We're committed to delivering quality results on time. Our dedication and teamwork will lead to a satisfied client. Lesson 83, Anticipation and Farewell Looking forward to it. Me too. It's going to be a great event. I can't wait to see all the preparations come together. It's going to be a memorable experience for everyone involved. Absolutely. Let's make sure everything runs smoothly. I'm confident that we've planned everything meticulously. We've put in a lot of effort, and it's going to pay off. I agree. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you too. It's been a pleasure working with you. See you later at the event. See you there. Let's make it a fantastic day. Lesson 84, Weekend Getaway The weekend is approaching. Do you have any plans? Not yet. I'm open to suggestions. What do you have in mind? How about a day trip to the countryside? It's quite reasonable, around $100 per person. That sounds great. I love nature and exploring new places. We can go hiking, have a picnic, and enjoy the fresh air. Count me in. It'll be a refreshing break from the city. Let's pack some snacks and make the most of our time outdoors. I'm excited already. 
It's going to be a fun and memorable weekend. Agreed. Let's escape the hustle and bustle and enjoy some tranquility. Lesson 85, Fast-Paced Marketing So, what do you do for work? I'm working in marketing for a small startup. It's fast-paced but rewarding. That sounds exciting. Marketing is a dynamic field. It is. Every day brings new challenges and opportunities. I imagine you have to think on your feet and adapt quickly. Definitely. Being agile and creative is essential in this role. It must be fulfilling to see your marketing efforts drive business growth. It is. Seeing the impact of our work is incredibly rewarding. Keep up the great work. Your contributions make a difference. Thank you. I'm passionate about what I do, and it motivates me every day. It's inspiring to see your dedication. Wishing you continued success. Lesson 86, Vacation Abroad Have you ever considered going on a vacation abroad? Yes, I've thought about it. Where would you recommend? How about a tropical destination like Bali? That sounds amazing. What activities can we do there? We can relax on beautiful beaches, go surfing, and explore the local culture. That sounds like a perfect getaway. How long should we plan for? I think a week would be a good amount of time to enjoy everything. Great. Let's start researching flights and accommodations. Definitely. We should also check if we need any travel documents. Good point. I'll make sure our passports are up to date. And don't forget to pack sunscreen and a swimsuit. I'll add those to the list. I can't wait for our vacation. Lesson 87, Unique Photo Locations Have you ever thought about finding unique places to capture interesting shots? Yes, I love photography. Where do you suggest we go? How about an abandoned factory? It could make for some cool urban shots. That's a great idea. What other locations can we explore? We could also try a colorful street market or a scenic rooftop. Those sound like fantastic spots. What time of day would be best? Early morning or golden hour in the evening would give us the best lighting. I'll set my alarm clock then. Let's plan a day for our photo adventure. Perfect. Don't forget to bring different lenses and experiment with angles. I'll make sure to pack my camera bag with all the essentials. Lesson 88, Trying Different Brands Have you ever wanted to try different brands of products? Yes, I'm always curious about new options. What do you suggest? We could start by experimenting with different coffee brands. That sounds interesting. Which brands have you tried so far? I've tried Starbucks, Dunkin', and a few local coffee shops. I've only had Starbucks. I'm excited to explore new flavors. We can also try different brands of chocolate, snacks, or even skincare products. That's a great idea. It'll be fun to compare and find new favorites. Exactly. Let's make a list and go on a brand discovery journey. Count me in. I'm ready to try something new. Lesson 89, Setting a Budget How much do you usually spend when you go shopping? It depends on what I'm buying. What about you? I try to stick to a budget. Around $50 to $70 is reasonable for me. That sounds reasonable. 
I should start setting a budget too. It helps to plan ahead and prioritize your spending. I agree. I'll make a list and allocate funds for each item. That's a smart approach. It prevents overspending and keeps you on track. I want to save more, so setting a budget will definitely help. It's a great habit to develop. Good luck with your budgeting. Lesson 90 Joining a Group Have you ever wondered how to join a group or club? Yes, I'm interested in joining one. How can we do that? There's usually no audition. You just need enthusiasm and interest. That's good to know. How do we find groups to join? We can search online, join social media communities, or ask friends. That sounds simple enough. What kind of groups are you interested in? I'm into hiking and photography, so I might join those types of groups. I've always wanted to try yoga, maybe there's a local yoga group I can join. That's a great idea. Let's start exploring and connecting with like-minded people. I'm excited to meet new people and join a group that shares my interests. Lesson 91, Exploring a New City Let's explore this new city together. I'm excited. Where should we start? We can begin by visiting the local market. That sounds like a great idea. I love exploring local culture. Later, let's make sure to take the stairs down too. It's a great way to stay active. Definitely. I don't want to risk missing out on any hidden gems. We can also check out some historical landmarks. That would be interesting. I love learning about the history of a place. Lastly, we should try the local cuisine. I'm always up for trying new food. Let's embark on this adventure together. Lesson 92, Reviewing a Contract We need to review this contract thoroughly. Agreed. What part should we start with? Firstly, the indemnification clause needs to be clarified. That's an important section. Can we revise it? Yes, we can propose changes to ensure it protects both parties. That sounds reasonable. Let's make sure the language is clear too. Definitely. We want to avoid any misunderstandings. We should also check the termination clause and any hidden fees. Good point. We need to understand all the terms before signing. Let's go through it step by step and make necessary adjustments. Lesson 93, Planning a Movie Night How about having a movie night at home? That sounds fun. What kind of movies do you like? I enjoy action and comedies. What about you? I like romantic comedies and animated films. Great. We should grab some chips and soda too. Yes, drinks are a must for a movie night. Let's make a list of movies we want to watch. We can take turns choosing the films. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to it. Lesson 94, Comfortable Place to Stay When we travel, we should consider different types of accommodation. That's a good point. We'll need a comfortable place to stay. We can choose between hotels or villas, depending on our preferences. Hotels offer convenience, but villas provide more privacy. We should also consider the location and amenities available. Definitely. We want to make the best choice for our trip. Let's do some research and read reviews before booking. Agreed. 
We want to ensure a pleasant and enjoyable stay. Lesson 95, Exploring Greece I'd love to embark on this Greek adventure with you. That sounds amazing. Greece has so much to offer. We can start by exploring the ancient ruins in Athens. That would be fascinating. I've always been interested in history. Then we can visit the beautiful islands like Santorini and Mykonos. I've seen pictures, and they look breathtaking. We should also try the delicious Greek cuisine. Yes, I've heard their food is fantastic, especially the moussaka. I can't wait to experience the rich culture and stunning landscapes of Greece. Lesson 96, English Learning Tips Learning English can be challenging. Yes, I agree. But it's important to practice every day. Definitely. Reading English books can help improve vocabulary. Watching English movies with subtitles is also helpful. I prefer mine with sugar as well. Oh, you mean tea. I like it sweet too. Yes, tea with sugar is delicious. By the way, any plans today? I'm going to the park for a walk. How about you? I'm meeting a friend for lunch. We're trying a new restaurant. That sounds exciting. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Have a great walk in the park. Lesson 97, Redecorating My Room I'm redecorating my room. Any suggestions for a color scheme? Of course. What theme or color scheme do you prefer? I like a calm and relaxing atmosphere. How about using shades of blue and white? That sounds soothing. I'll consider it. You can also add some green plants for a touch of nature. Great idea. It will bring freshness to the room. I'm glad you like it. Good luck with your redecoration. Lesson 98. Practice speaking English. I'm new to learning English. Do you have any tips for beginners like me? Absolutely. First, practice speaking English every day. Should I focus on grammar or vocabulary? Both are important, but start with the basics of grammar. That makes sense. Any resources you recommend? There are many language learning apps and websites available. Wow, that sounds interesting. Which ones do you suggest? Duolingo and Babel are popular and effective for beginners. Thanks for the advice. I'll check them out. Lesson 99, Cooking Chicken I'm planning to cook chicken tonight. Any recipe suggestions? You can make a simple chicken and vegetable stir-fry. That sounds delicious. How do I make it? Start by marinating the chicken with soy sauce and garlic. What vegetables should I include? Carrots, bell peppers, and broccoli go well with the chicken. I'll make sure to chop them into small pieces. Yes, that helps them cook evenly. Enjoy your meal. Lesson 100, Time Management Hey, do you ever struggle with managing your time? Yes, I sometimes find it challenging to balance everything. Any tips on how to stay organized? Make a to-do list and prioritize tasks. I often get distracted. How can I stay focused? Set specific goals and eliminate distractions while working. That's helpful advice. I'll give it a try. 
remember to take breaks too. It's important for productivity. Thank you. Let's go and make the most of our time. You're welcome. Have a fantastic trip.